Merry Christmas, everybody. Welcome to a very special edition of the Daily Juice Podcast. My name is Matt Peralta, and when I tell you that we are here every single morning, even on Christmas Day, New Year's Day, Christmas Eve, New Year's Eve, you get this podcast each and every single morning, thanks to bettingpros.com and myself, Matt Peralta. You can follow me on Twitter at Sports Talk Matt, bettingpros at bettingpros on Twitter. We are here thanks to BetMGM. You guys know the offer here. It's $10 offer to win $150 on any event. Promo code JUICE150. New account at BetMGM or BetMGM.com. So did you enjoy the day off? Kind of weird, right? No NBA, no bowl games, no hockey. Christmas Eve was nothing. Zero. Nothing to bet, nothing to win, nothing to lose. So today I've got a litany of things to give you. Now I'm going to tell you right here, right at the top. I'm not going in depth into this. I need to get upstairs and get back to building a variety of things, including princess castles and LOL doll thingamajiggies. I've got no idea about. I have a seven-year-old daughter who is very much, we're trying to keep her asleep, which is not really all that easy on Christmas Eve due to anxiety and excitement and everything else. If you're a parent, you know exactly what I'm talking about here. So I'm going to give you the picks. Just not going to break them down as in-depth as I normally would simply because, well, it's Christmas. And if you're listening to this, hello, thank you. I really appreciate it on Christmas. But also, I want you to spend as much time with your loved ones as possible. So you may want the picks. Give it to you here, kind of quick and dirty. And then we kind of roll into uh, the next couple of weeks. And we've got a lot of stuff to get into. Obviously, Sunday is going to be a huge game. Patriots, Bills, monster game. we got that to break down. We'll go into all that coming up here. All right. Before I do anything else, I just want to give you a, a Christmas wish that I hope for health, for yourself, for your family, and for everyone you care about. Because without that, I mean, if we've learned anything in the last two years, that health is such a valuable commodity. And when I have had health, I want to take a second to appreciate that. And when I haven't had health and I've been unhealthy and having problems, it's scary, it stinks. And you just hope that you can fight through it. You hope that you can, you know, find a way to get healthy again. So my my wish to you guys, my present, my hope, whatever you want to call it, my prayer to for you guys coming up here for 2022 is for health and for your family to be healthy. I've got people who are very sick in my family and I am hoping you guys know who I'm talking about and I hope nothing for good reports and signs and progress and everything else. It's gonna be a long journey for certain people in my family. So that's my wish for 2022 that we all can find our way through this really horrible and horrific period of time and the word normal, I don't know what that normal will ever look like again. I don't know if my daughter will ever be able to live a life like I have lived simply because of where we are in the world. I don't know. I hope so, but it's super scary. For those of you who DM me to ask, my daughter's doing better. Um, she's on she's on medicine, so we think it could just been a bacterial infection. The antibiotics seem to be working pretty well to slow down and get her healthy again. So hopefully that's going to be a good sign. But, um, you know, you know, kids go right one day. They're great. Next day they're not. But so far, so good through two days of giving her the antibiotics. She seems to be uh, her oldest self again. A lot of energy bouncing around. Super excited for the big guy to come in here tonight. So let's get to the picks. And like I mentioned, I'm not going to go too in depth with this. So here's where we're at. Okay, so I got what what I wanted. Okay, I got the Colts on the money line. We're jumping in half a unit. We've got the teaser, which I already gave you full of full unit. Okay. That plus seven and a half Colts minus one Packers teaser, uh, you know, minus one and a half, depending where you got it. It's seven right now. So you should be able to get minus one pretty easily. So Packers minus one and the plus seven and a half. Now you can get plus eight actually. So you can even get a better number. You might be like all the way up to plus eight on the Colts. So Colts plus eight plus uh, minus one for the Packers, one unit, that teaser is 100% live here. So there's our one unit play. Half a unit at plus 115. I'm coming back on the Colts here, okay? I think the Colts win the game outright, and I know it's going to be a very popular pick, and I've seen some people in the betting space now try to fade, saying here come the Cardinals, their bounce back spot, here we go. But I'm going to give you some stats here on Kyler Murray without DeAndre Hopkins. It is not good for him without DeAndre Hopkins, and their offense does not look anywhere near the same and we know what Jonathan Taylor is going to do right the number for him rushing is just ridiculous I can't 102 I can't lay a prop of 102 on a guy but he's gonna have a big game okay this is a bad rush defense 
I don't care if Quentin Nelson's out. I don't care if three offensive linemen are out. We just were on the Titans, and the same thing happened with the Titans. I'm just not going to freak out about COVID ins and outs for one or two guys, and I get it. They're really important key cogs to a running attack, but they pay their backups too, okay? And they're in there as backups on this team for a reason, because the Colts like them. Colts money line, plus 115 or better, okay? I bet it at plus 115 tonight, plus 115, half a unit on the money line. We're going Colts money line. In that same game, I do have a quarter unit prop to give you. How about this? Kyler Murray's passer rating is 86.4. He's thrown for 3,900 yards, 21 touchdowns, and 13 picks in the 17 games he's played so far as a pro without DeAndre Hopkins. With DeAndre Hopkins, Kyler Murray's passer rating is 98.6. He's thrown for 6,700 yards, 45 touchdowns to 21 interceptions in 26 games with DeAndre Hopkins on the field. That is a dramatic difference in quarterback play when he has his number one receiver to make defenses feel nervous to when he doesn't have his number one receiver. Kyler Murray's passing prop today is 266 and a half yards. I'm going under Kyler Murray, 266 and a half passing yards today. The prop bet cheat sheet agrees with this, but it's all sort of correlated, right? I've got the Colts at plus six, plus six and a half, plus seven and a half, plus eight, you know, somewhere in that range, right? So Colts plus seven and a half, you know, it was a pick, then six, then seven and a half, eight. It's climbing. You may even get eight and a half, but Colts on a teaser. Colts on the money line. And Kyler Murray under 266 and a half yards passing. Look, if he comes out and throws for 300 yards and it's not right win, big win, 14 point, 10 point win for the Cardinals, I get wiped out here. Okay. No debating that. If you like that, if you want to fade me saying, Matt, you've been cold all week, I'm going to bet against all of that. I'm not going to be angry. Okay. Not mad, not angry. Do what you got to do. Okay. Do what you got to do. But that's where I am here. I'm heavy on the Colts, Colts money line, Colts teaser. And now here on under Kyler Murray, 266 and a half yards passing for a quarter unit. The other prop, the other quarter unit to round out half a unit on the money line Colts, quarter unit for Kyler Murray under 266 and a half is Aaron Rodgers going over 258 and a half passing yards. Prop bet cheat sheet agrees with this quarter unit. Look, the Browns are coming back with a variety of players. I understand this, but Rodgers at home, I mean, he gets this, right? I mean, he passes for this. This is, I know the defense for the Browns has been been good. Secondary has been decent. Pass rush has been good. I get all that. But look, this is Aaron Rodgers. This is, uh, you know, about what he passes for on average. And on Christmas, I mean, you know, this dude's going to show out on Christmas. This has, he has a chance to put up 300 yards and take the MVP again. If he throws it, he has a big game. I'm going over Aaron Rodgers, 258 and a half yards passing. Both those props, by the way, are available at DraftKings at the time of taping. Quarter unit on both of those, okay? So there we're going. Half a unit, Indy money line. Murray under passing. Rodgers over passing, all right? So what are we doing with the next unit or two bets to come, right? Splitting it in half. Let's talk about Phoenix and Golden State, all right? These teams to totals. Golden State this year, 9-21 and 2 to the over <laughs> Phoenix 14 and 17 to the over at home. Phoenix is nine and eight to the over a little bit on the road though. Golden state four and 10, four and 10 to the over here. Okay. These two teams, when they play each other, they are under machines. Okay. First game on the road at golden state number was two fifteen. total came in by, oh, sorry. Second game was two twenty two twenty two and a half. and a half. That game was at Phoenix, 222 and a half. The game went under by 22 and a half points. Second game in Golden State, number was 215, went under by one point, 118 to 96 to win for Golden State. This game now is a minus six or six and a half for the Phoenix Suns. Total is 215 and a half. Not going to think overthink it here. I'm going under. This number has plummeted due to guys being out for COVID. Wiggins and company being out. I think defense is the name of the game here on Christmas. Big game. Playoff type atmosphere. They clamp it down. Going under 215 and a half. Golden State and Phoenix for one half of a unit. And I'm coming back with a three-team money line parlay for the final half a unit. 
at plus 141. All right. I'm coming in here. I'm taking the Knicks at home to beat. And you know the Garden's going to be electric for Trey Young coming in here, man. Hawks coming in. Line seven. I'm taking Knicks money line. Second game. Boston at Milwaukee. Giannis has been cleared. Okay. Giannis is cleared. Giannis is playing. Bad news for Boston. Number seven, seven and a half. I'm taking the Bucks money line. And I'm going Packers money line along with it. I cannot see the Cleveland Browns winning this game against the Green Bay Packers on Christmas with the one seed riding, MVP riding. I, I know it's Baker. I know you're getting the guys back. I know it's Landry and company. But even if these guys weren't dealing with COVID and they're all coming back off of COVID after missing games and missing weeks and could be rusty, I, I think the Packers are the best team in the NFL. Some people think it's the Chiefs. I think it's the Packers. I'm going three legs, money line parlay for a half a unit here. Somebody asked for a don't bet a parlay parlay. This is a me betting a parlay at plus 141. Knicks, Bucks, Packers, money line, three leg, money line parlay at plus 150, sorry, 141 for a half a unit. All right. So those are the plays here for Christmas. A lot of action, a lot of things going on all day. We've got NFL football and we've got NBA basketball to watch on it on Christmas Day. Should be a ton of fun. Again, to recap, all right, we're going teaser plus seven and a half Indianapolis Packers minus one, one unit. We're going Indy money line, half a unit. Rodgers over 258 and a half yards passing, quarter unit. Murray under 266 and a half yards passing quarter unit under Phoenix Golden State half a unit 215 and a half and half a unit parlay Knicks Bucks Packers money line at plus 141 money line parlay for us here going into a Christmas day hopefully you have a phenomenal day thank you for listening to this podcast Australia to Europe to Central America to Mexico Canada and all over the United States thank you thank you thank you for listening Let's have a great Christmas. Enjoy it. I'll be back tomorrow for another more in-depth breakdown into the picks and plays on a big Sunday. Dan Harris and I, by the way, will be doing the live stream on Sunday morning. So we've got that going for you guys coming up here. Wong teaser, which is 10 and 4 now. We got that going as well. I'm sure everybody will be very excited for that coming up on Sunday. But for today on a Saturday, Merry Christmas. Have a great day. Talk to you tomorrow for the Daily Juice podcast here. Always being brought to you by BetMGM.